Rogan. Joe Rogan puts a video on his Instagram account talking about Spotify. And he says he is renewing his deal. Stories come out. Joe Rogan gets new Spotify deal worth up to $250 million. Spotify has reached a new deal with star podcaster Joe Rogan that will allow his hit show to be distributed broadly. Rogan's fresh deal estimated to be worth a quarter of a billion dollars over its multi-year term. According to people familiar with the matter, involves an upfront minimum guarantee plus a revenue sharing agreement based on ad sales. Under the new licensing agreement, Spotify will sell ads for and distribute the Joe Rogan experience across several platforms, including a video format on YouTube, which is kind of interesting. And I like that, by the way. Because you would want to grow the YouTube audience as well. I don't think the YouTube side was maximized for Rogan, and I'm glad they're doing it this way. So whether it was Rogan's camp negotiating that or Spotify's camp doing that, good for them. And the company said the Friday, under his previous deal, the show was exclusive to Spotify. The new deal is emblematic of shifting economics and podcasting, which has matured in both audience reach and advertising spending since Rogan's last deal. Spotify is working to revise the terms of its deals with top talent so that shows are distributed on several platforms uh, to maximize their audience and ad sales rather than requiring exclusivity. Tom. Well, this is great for Joe Rogan. It's great for people that want to hear Joe Rogan in more places because it's not exclusive now. It's broad. And this is this is basically um, Spotify acting like a capitalist, Pat. Uh, Spotify's loss has been reduced to 70 million euros last year. The loss of 70 billion euros. You know, 70 million dollars, not a lot of money. Um, not not when you're uh, almost four billion dollars of um, revenue. Mm-hmm. Spotify is. Mm-hmm. And a year ago, they lost 270 million dollars. So Spotify has been trimming things that don't work and renegotiating and renewing in different ways things that do work. And there's a big ad. But Rogan's got a lot of upside on this on the ad side, the ad sharing. He gets a lot of leverage up. So rather than just paying him straight, 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 they say, hey, let's go broad. Let's not be exclusive, and we'll give you more of the ad sales side. So uh, it's it's doing well, and Spotify had about a 17% growth year, uh, which is significant, growing 17%. After we're all back from COVID, they had about a 17% revenue growth on subscription revenue. So Spotify is acting like a capitalist company, and this is them betting on one of their hits and one of their jewels to keep him at Spotify, broaden it out, make more ad dollars, and grow the company and reduce the loss. This is this is good. Past five days, look at the stock. is wow. up 15.4%. The market loves what they're doing. By the way, if you go last five days, up 15.73%. Can you go to their market cap right now? See what their market cap is. Uh, what do you see? Spotify, it should be right there. Bottom, bottom, bottom right there. $48 up billion. 48.2. 48.2 billion. So if they're up 15%, if wow. you do divided by uh, 85, what number do you come up with, Rob? I know you can do it in your head, please. So, uh, 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 pa, 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 pa. <laughs> okay, so 48, uh, uh, it was four. So they made, they made roughly $8 billion this week. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. They made roughly 6 to $8 billion this week, closer to $8 billion this week, okay, after announcing <laughs> That's amazing. But, and, 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 or a quarter of a billion dollars. Yeah. And you I mean, know. And, and you, I mean, Pat, cause you know Joe very well, like, and it couldn't happen to a, a cooler. They call it the Joe Rogan experience because it's an experience. He's not only a comedian. He's teaching you. You're learning this. You're finding out about history. And he's not afraid to talk to anybody. He'll have anybody on there. And then when they Except for Trump. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later. But and and yeah, dude, I mean. We still got our bet going, right? Yeah, you're, you're our bet straight. is still happening. But what a, what, a, what a necessary voice. And just like, you know, you sing it with Elon, that when you're that awesome and you're that popular and you're not scared of everything and you, you're letting people hear the truth, they got to come after you. And I love the fact that uh, him and Spotify, the CEO, kind of were like, okay, and they just brushed over it. I'm shocked to see what to me, try next. this is the least shocking news ever. Because <laughs> um, I, I remember 2020 when we were in Dallas starting PBD Podcast, there was breaking news. I don't, it was right in the middle of COVID, maybe June of 2020, I want to say. And it was like breaking news. Joe Rogan's leaving YouTube, going to Spotify. $100 million deal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're like, what the hell? This is what? Yeah. It was shocking. Yeah. Turned out it was actually a $200 million deal. Yeah. So we didn't even have the numbers right because he kind of slow played that. But to me, this is the equivalent like in sports just locking down your star, whether it's Mahomes signing with the Chiefs, whether it's Joe Burrow with the Bengals, whether it's 
Giannis with the Bucks. You're locking down your star. There's going to be some sort of hometown discount for loyalty because he could go elsewhere and get more money. But to me, the, Joe Rogan seems to be a creature of habit. He, he keeps his uh, circle very tight. He's very loyal. Don't forget, Daniel Eck had his back during everything with COVID. So I think that this was inevitable and um, good for Joe. I tell you what, it, 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 again, sometimes I go, I go into restaurants and such a bad thing. And I say that I'd love to run a restaurant one day and just tr- treat customers royally yeah. and, and, and use data and paying attention and a little bit of being no, no, nosy in when people are talking to see how can make their day a better day. Shout out to Will Gadera on reasonable hospitality. Just because curious what is on. I'd love to one day run a sports team just to see what it's like. In a like a past life, I, I would have loved to have been an agent representing certain talent, certain people, right? Managing certain talent, you know, being an agent, you know, negotiating on, on their behalf. Uh, I, I, I knew of a deal that could have gone Joe $350 million, okay? Yeah. Holy. And by the way, here's a part you got to realize, okay, why Joe is very different and very unique. Spotify knows they have a great deal here. Spotify knows they underpaid, and you know it's it's important for Spotify. Know you're getting somebody that's still very young. How old is Joe? By the 56? way, fifty six. Fifty six years old. He's fifty six years old, and if I'm right, that's can, crazy. Can probably just... the whoop the oh, average, no. wow. hey. average twenty five year olds. But you know, I'm just happy to hear that fifty six is still considered pretty young. Joe can yeah. beat the shit out of all of us in this room at yeah. the same time. But, but, but the but the point with this <laughs> in is, the gorilla. But the point with this is the fact that even though he could have gotten that kind of money, he stays. Shows a lot about his character. You don't want to be an athlete that plays for four different teams. Like, I, like for example, let's just use NBA. You don't want to be the guy that, let's just say you get drafted into Cleveland and then you go to Miami and then maybe you go back to Cleveland and then you go to L.A. Not that oh, anybody would ever do well, something like that. Well, you, don't be, you don't want to be a player like that because yeah. you're constantly changing teams. Yeah. You want to be a guy that comes straight out of high school, goes and plays for one team for 20 years, and your name is Kobe Bryant. Yep. You want to be the guy that these guys gave him a great offer, Spotify, and he's like, listen, man, you had my back when they wanted to cancel me because of those videos and audios. Guess what? Mm. I'm going to have your back, and you don't forget. Those types of people who remember when you had their back to come back and do that for you, and it's not just about money, you got to salute. Respect to them. I think Spotify won, and I also think Rogan won because now the audience will be able to see it not only on Spotify, but also on YouTube. Don't know how they're going to structure that, but I think it's a great negotiation, great deal, and they weren't solving for money only. They were solving for growth, expansion, future, partnership, and I like that. I think the meeting was probably, and by the way, just so everybody knows, I have not spoken to Joe about this deal, not this much, zero. So it's not like I know anything about the deal. He hasn't called me about the deal. We haven't talked about the deal. Nothing. Nothing that is is just about the fact that I know I had one offer for him. But the deal is done based on Spotify also wanting to set, wanting to ask. I foresee that in the negotiation being, hey, what do you want to do to make the deal better? What's important to you? And I think one of the things Joe probably wanted to do was to make sure the growth in YouTube continues because he's not far off from you know growing that exponentially. He's already there as a number one guy, but I think he can even take it to a whole different level. Anyways, congratulations, Spotify. Congratulations to uh, um to Joe. To Joe as well. Yes, Bill Maher. That was an interesting oh. podcast. You guys have a chance.